Hello. <laughs> What's up? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Today we are testing recipes mm -hmm. from Justine Snacks. Yeah. Her last name is Snacks. <laughs> no. Justine Dorian, I think, is her last name. For her handle on TikTok. It's Justine Snacks. And that's how we discovered her, right? Is that how you found her? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how else I would have. No. <laughs> um, but she makes a lot of really great recipes. They're not all necessarily vegan. No. She does, but... like, she, so she's not vegan, but I find a lot of her recipes are very plant forward. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're gonna test some of her recipes. Yeah. So we picked three. Three? Yeah, three recipes we're gonna try. I was looking for a baked good, but she doesn't do baked goods very often. Um, and the only one that I saw was like cupcakes and I didn't want to make cupcakes. That's fair. And we do a lot of sweet, very uh, sweet forward yes. videos. So I was kind of like all savory. That's kind of nice. Yeah. So we're going to do... No cookies. <laughs> we're going to do... regret that. Breaded beans. Oh wait, let me actually get... Oh, I love beans. Breaded beans and sage cashew cream. So it's those... I remember this video from TikTok where she made like crispy breaded beans and I was like, I want that. I want that. <laughs> yes. Um, and then we're going to make balsamic laced oyster mushroom shawarma style. And then we are going to make tofu cutlets with avocado and citrus sprout salad. It all sounds so fancy. It really does. That was the one thing that I uh, noticed when I was going through her blog. I was like, all these recipes, like, I wouldn't say they're classic recipes. They're like so interesting. Yeah. And they're all so different. And I kind of like, like, she doesn't really come from a cooking background. Yeah. She's all like self-taught. I think so, yeah. So I kind of like that about her. She feels more relatable and approachable sometimes. Yes. Because she's like, I'm just cooking what I think will work and I'm experimenting and I'm learning it as is, I go. Yeah, it's so interesting. I feel like so many, I feel like she's the first creator that I've seen that actually it feels like her content is that. Like a lot of people say that we're like, oh, they just do this, this, yeah. but it still turns into like very classic recipes. Yeah. But like her recipes was like, I would never have thought of that. I was like, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> and then I was like, wait, that looks delicious. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start with the beans. Beans. Now we have to start by soaking the cashews. And what I liked about this recipe, I got worried when I read that. Cause I was like, oh, maybe we don't want to make this recipe. But you only soak them as long as it takes you to prepare the beans. Yes, I read that last night because I was like, oh my god, am I supposed to be soaking the cashews right now? <laughs> no, I would have told you. Well, I don't know. No, Sometimes no, we both I probably would have forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> okay, begin by soaking the cashews in warm water. Should we be, wait, oh, wait, yeah. wait. Should we be working on recipes separately? I just realized. Because that's what we normally do, right? Yeah. I totally forgot about that. So which one do you want to do? I will say, uh, one of the things that I was noticing, and I wasn't looking at all the recipes, I was just looking at the like vegan plant-based ones, they seem pretty simple, and they don't take a long time. Good. Which I like. The mushrooms take 40 minutes to cook, it says, so that one should be one of the ones we start with, at least I'm thinking. I'm thinking the beans and the mushrooms should be the ones we start with, but which okay. one would you prefer to do? I feel like I always agree to the wrong one. So which one are you leaning to? Then do the opposite. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make half a serving of cashew cream. Cool. I don't think we need a whole serving. Oh no. Go with your gut. Oh. This one's gonna be interesting because these are thick. These are big mushrooms. oyster mushrooms. Yeah. These are the thickest oyster mushrooms I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't really know what she actually means by flat. Like, is that flat? That must be flat, right? Flat enough. I yeah. Cause like if she was to put it on a skewer, it would just yeah. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now how do you flatten this? Do you just cut this? Or what if you do slices? This way? Yeah. I think it's too small. What do you mean We small? need more surface area to stack. So, oh. That's what I think. Oh. Like it would, it would need the surface area. They're not like pieces, just like. Not, they are pieces stacked, but they are like. Big pieces They're wider stacked? pieces stacked. Cause then you so cut it afterwards. Oh yeah, I guess so. I'll figure it out. I've got it and choose that one now. <laughs> Look at this! Yeah, they were they, they only have the big ones. I don't know what's going on. But like there. not even like the big size is fine, but like they're thick. <laughs> I've never seen them this thick. That this could be a chicken breast. Like it's so oh, big. It'll be perfect. Change the recipe. <laughs> Do you need a bigger bowl? Oh okay. Okay. Then you add <laughs> I guess I do need a bigger bowl. It just makes more sense. <laughs> so you cook them first and then add the slices. 
they should still be slightly damp. Oh, they're definitely damp. <laughs> they're wet. I would call these damp. I would say they're wet. <laughs> they, don't, they don't look too out of control here. What do you mean? Like the size. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I was able to tuck them in a way that works. Okay, good. I would eat them just like this. <laughs> I mean, there's no seasoning on them, they look, but... Yeah, but they look gorgeous. Wow. I'm still mixing my beans over here. <laughs> Woo! How's it going? While Pretty you're painting. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make the shawarma stack now. It smells good. Hope this good. stays stacked. What if they just like melt off of each they other? They might. There's oil in between each one. <laughs> <laughs> this does look really good. Uh, it does. It's literally just a stack of mushrooms, but it looks delicious. This is just the same thing that if it was meat. Just yeah. a stack of meat. I'm gonna put all this in the oven now. The pieces are getting small. <laughs> <laughs> so the stack is getting very narrow on the top. <laughs> so we're gonna stack them on the side. It's gonna sides. be fine! Burn! the shawarma glaze. Oh my gosh, do it, I'm ready. Look at this. <laughs> the three skewers make it look like... Um, it, I don't know, but it looks funny. Looks like a castle. A poorly constructed one. Yeah, like some kind of like fourth grade yeah. project for some class. I don't know what class, I can't tell. No idea. It's a weird one, that's for sure. Look at those crispy beans. Wow, and then this beautiful stack of mushrooms. I mean, shawarma. Mushrooms, shawarma. Wow. Okay, and you're starting on the tofu already? Yeah. Nice. Looks great. Getting the station ready. Wow, look. Schmear Should it. you use a spoon to schmear it? Or do you think, oh, you think I can't schmear it? Okay. It won't be as pretty. Yeah, I didn't so think it would. I want... Because it's the, like, dollop and then you schmear it, right? I know you want it to look nice. I, want I mean, it we may as well. I wanted to make it nice for you. I haven't done this in a while. But it's going to be fine. Pretty. Looks like a... I didn't know comma. where you were going with it. <laughs> Me neither. It's a, you just go with the vibe. So that's a generous smear. And then what? Then the beans. And then what about the thing you just made? It drizzles on top. On top of the beans? Yes. Oh, got it. Okay. Can you see this? Crispy beans. Wow. Now, uh. Just like a drizzle? Yeah. Do you eat this with a fork? Um, probably. Thank you. Eat it with your hands. I don't know how to drizzle this. It's very runny. I feel really fancy. It's very fancy. Imagine you made this as a snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I love myself, I would totally do that. I destroyed the plate already. Mmm. I like the flavors, but I need something more. The other components make the beans not seem as crispy. Mmm. But I do like the flavors. I feel like it needs some freshness. Mm-hmm. I love butter beans. Actually, the more of the cashew cream that I have with it, the more I like it. Yeah, it's really nice. And it balances out some of the dryness in the beans. Mm -hmm. Like, they're nice and crispy, but they're still, like, dry on the inside. Which, obviously, they're gonna be... I don't know, I don't find them that dry. Oh. It's so interesting. Like, I would... I never in my wildest dream could I make a dish like this. There's a fresh herb in every component. Which is really nice. And a different fresh herb in every mm -hmm. component. I feel like I'm not used to that. I guess I'm usually too lazy for that. Mmm. <laughs> Butter beans are good. Right. Would you make this again? I think a version of it, yes. Me too. I think I would definitely cook beans like this again. Mm-hmm. I think I would do something like this, but I think I'd put it on bread. <laughs> oh yeah. Put like the cashew cream or some kind of sauce on the bread. Mm -hmm. The beans on top. Drizzle with something. Yes. Done. Yes. Love it. 
Justine's recipes, I think, make me feel like she's truly working with a what's in my pantry, let's just make something up. Mm -hmm. it, they're so interesting. Yeah. That was so good. Okay. Oh, really nice. Mushrooms. Do we try and cut it off of the skewer? They're going to inside, yeah. We could try. Excuse my left hand cutting. <laughs> It looks delicious. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm cutting the paper. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Ready? I'm ready. Mmm. That's a really nice flavor. Oh, it's fresher than I thought it was gonna mm -hmm. be. I thought it was gonna be like really intense. The glaze that she has put put on top is just a mixture of lemon juice and balsamic glaze. Same as this glaze. Yeah, so Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it should be so nice in a bowl. Wow, yeah. Or a wrap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like it. The edges of the mushroom where there's like kind of crispy parts. Mm -hmm. uh, I also do feel like you could probably just cook this on the stove. I don't think you need to bake it. It's just to get that. I think yeah, I think it's just to get that effect. But I think you'd get the same. I think you might almost get it to be more crispy if you just cook it on the stove. Yeah. I see that. If that's what you want. Last one. I started the tofu stuff. We just gotta put it together. We can tidy up really quick though. And yeah, do all the components. Mm -hmm. Change for them now. Give it a quick dunk. 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 And then into the panko. That looks beautiful. And that was the test one. That's like frying so perfectly, right? Wow. Real nice. All right, we're almost there. I think that's everything. And then just the... So, uh, her recipe calls for sprouts. We could not find sprouts. So we got a broccoli slaw, a kale slaw. Kale, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. How much of it do we need? Just throw it in. Half a pint. Half a pint of sprouts. Okay, so just put in a bunch. <laughs> so... Maybe another handful? However much you want. Whee! Okay. <laughs> Does it taste okay? I don't, I don't know. know. Alright, so this is everything. We just gotta cut up an avocado. Sprinkle put... some feta. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, so I'll cut up some avocado for our... Hopefully this is a good avocado because we only have one. She sprinkles it into this. And I'm sure she sprinkles some more on top. And because in her recipe it's ricotta. Yes. This is feta. Yeah. We just needed a crumbly cheese. Right, because this is supposed to be like a fancy avocado toast. Yeah. Forgot what we were assembling here. <laughs> this is supposed to be the toast. I like it. I mean, I like toast too. But yes. crispy tofu is pretty great. This would be a good like dinner toast rather than Oh, like... a dinner toast or lunch toast. Yeah. Or I just don't know if, toast. I just don't know if I would deep do fry tofu for breakfast or lunch. Ah, like I would yeah. do this for dinner probably. We just don't have the lifestyle that accommodates that. No. All right, uh, put on some salad? Yeah, I do. Go for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my hands, is that okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's what I do most of the time. It's just easier, you know? This looks delicious. This looks so fancy. It is very fancy, but it looks great. Like, oh, are we having a nice brunch? Actually, yeah. Imagine this with like, not hollandaise on this exact recipe, but a crispy tofu with hollandaise on it. Mm. Wow! I just want to put hollandaise on everything. Well, yeah, it's pretty great. <sighs> How do we eat this? Nice? Okay. Can you get any cheese? It's so fresh. Whoa. That's so fun. That's really good. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be so gimmicky. <laughs> like, in what way? Anytime avocado toast is involved and it's not on bread, I'm like, what are you doing? Fair. It can't be better than bread. And, well, I like bread better. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I like that it's just like, this would fill me up really nicely. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. If you want avocado toast, but you are you don't eat eggs, yeah, then because people will add an egg to make like a little yeah. bit of protein, right? So we're getting a lot of protein here. Mm -hmm. I would argue and say this is lighter than avocado toast. Like a big crusty piece of bread can be heavy sometimes. Kinda, yeah. This is really nice. Mm. I'm shocked. 
I didn't think this would be my favorite, and I think it's my favorite of the three. I know, I'm kind of leaning that way too. It's just so well balanced in flavor, the crisp and texture. Mm hmm. Everything is so good. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Like, I would expect to get this at a restaurant. Oh, uh, yeah. It is great. I feel like we've gone out for a fancy brunch right I would 100% serve this for brunch with, like, have, like, a brunch party with people. Yeah. I would serve this. Wow. Okay, so this, clearly this is our favorite. Mm hmm. But definitely gonna make crispy beans again. I'm gonna make both again, probably. Uh, just yeah. sometimes in different ways. Yeah. Mm hmm. In the comments. Tell us, we'll link to these recipes in the description if you're looking for them. Mm -hmm. But also in the comments, if you've tried any of Justine's recipes, let us know which ones and what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like. And um, there's other recipe creators, whether they're on TikTok, Pinterest, they just have a blog, they have YouTube, whatever. Let us know. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> we'll test their recipes. It's important work. Mm. And delicious work. That's why it's important. Most of the time. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with somebody who wants really good avocado toast in their life. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. I also like, I think even people who say they don't like the texture of tofu or tofu in general, I think they'd like this. Mm hmm Because you don't, there's so much else going on that you kind of even it's miss true. the tofu's there. Like you get the crispiness, but not that texture that people say they don't like. Yeah. It was really good. We did it!